guys life just kind of got a hold of me Hey world travelers, welcome back to my channel if you are subscribed and if you are new, welcome to the world of Wiss. I'm Wiss and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become part of my world. Woo! <laughs> I have not said my little spiel intro in a hot minute, almost a month, so that kind of felt like very foreign to me. But I do want to thank you all for your patience during my absence. I've been gone off of YouTube for almost a month and i've been gone without a trace like i didn't even give you guys a heads up i just fell off the face of the earth but i do want to thank the handfuls of uh people who reached out to me i truly appreciate it guys life just kind of got a hold of me like literally from my last vlog that i posted had a family matter emergency and life has just been like took a turn for the worse so <laughs> i Wanted to answer your questions. No, I did not quit YouTube. Yes, I'm still a flight attendant. Yes, I'm still vlogging. No, I haven't worked and I'm alive and I'm well by the grace of God. So I'm trying to get back into a routine because I haven't flown in so long. I do not have a flight attendant vlog for you guys. So um, when my next trip comes along, I'll be sure to record that. I don't know when it's going to be up, so just bear with me until I get back into my routine. So once again, thank you to everyone who checked up on me. So without further ado, I got this cute little video idea from my best friend, Bridgette. Um, her name is Jet Setter here on YouTube. I've been rambling enough, and let's hop right into the video. So the first question is, why did you become a flight attendant? So if you all watch my flight attendant um, journey video, you would know that I've always wanted to become a flight attendant. That is a video that goes really into detail about my journey um, of becoming a flight attendant. But long story short, this is something that I've always wanted to do. I always imagined myself being a flight attendant. I remember being a little girl on the plane, and just the flight attendants always looking out for me. Um, I would always get the worst pressure buildup in my my ears as a child and I just remember the flight attendants always bringing me food always bringing me snacks drinks like cute little activities to do like they were always so stinking nice and I was like you know what I want to be a flight attendant when I grow up like literally told myself that and I kept the promise that I made to myself so here we are next question is are you a pusher or are you a puller and this is in terms of our luggage I am definitely a puller I am not a four-wheel girl i'm a two-wheel suitcase type of flight attendant um, more so because i have to have a j hook on my bag to allow me to bring a third bag which is typically my lunchbox um and yeah if i have a four wheel i'm unable to attach a j hook to be able to push my bag so it just makes more sense for me to be a puller so i can have my little j hook and if you're wondering what a j hook is it's basically um an attachment um it's literally in a shape of a j you attach it you clip it to your suitcase and you're able to you know attach like an extra bag onto your cart so onto your cart onto your luggage so you're able to transport that without having to hold anything like on your shoulder or with your hand well have you flown through covid yes i have flown all of COVID until my recent leave. So um, all of 2020 and all of 2021 up until the end of July, I have been flying through all the madness. All of the madness. <laughs> um, my worst experience with turbulence. I would have to say my worst experience with turbulence is from another passenger. So this was their first time flying and they were seated in the back of the aircraft and we were going through some pretty bad turbulence and i've explained this story time to you guys before but long story short sis was going through it it was projectile vomit everywhere it landed like three rows ahead of her it was all on my arm on my uniform on the floors it was on the fuselage it was on the overhead fins like I could just picture it just playing before me right now. I just had to stop myself. But um, I don't typically have any issues with turbulence myself. I don't mind turbulence, especially if I'm commuting or deadheading. Like, turbulence be rocking me to sleep. I know, crazy. But I'm just so used to it now. But I would have to say, like, my worst flight experience was um, I was flying from Detroit to Seoul, South Korea. And y'all, <laughs> literally we were closer to seoul than we were like to the states 
and I just remember the plane just dropping in the sky like just it was just a big drop and it was like a quiet time and like everyone was kind of sleeping and all you just felt was like shh, like the plane just dropping like pilots are able to take care of everything and land us safely but that was like a very scary moment for me and I was just like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this next flight on to Thailand because I was just like this was very scary but yeah I would have to say that's probably one of my worst like turbulence it wasn't turbulence it was a drop but yeah one of my worst experiences on a flight my favorite in-flight snack Ooh, cha y'all i typically stay away from those snacks because those snacks be added on weight if you know you know okay but i remember like way back when we used to have a bar that was called this bar saves lives it was oh it was delicious like i can literally still taste like that bar people used to call it bird food but it was the best bird food i ever had <laughs> and then we also had i think it's called bao chicka pop bao chicka wow popcorn like we had sweet kettle popcorn um on the aircraft and now currently it's like a good fresh pack of cheeses like i have come across like a few burnt bags of cheeses and it's just kind of like a no for me <laughs> But when you come across like a fresh bag of cheeses, it's like the best thing. But um, for the most part, I do stay away from the um, in-flight snacks because they be, they be adding on weight. But um, a lot of passengers love the Biscoff cookies. Lots of passengers call them biscotti. Biscotti is something else. But <laughs> I'll always have passengers ask, y'all got any biscottis? <laughs> you want a biscoff i got a biscoff for you but um yeah that's a lot of people's snacks but them cookies they them cookies i'm tired of them cookies okay um but they do have biscoff ice cream and biscoff cookie cream they ice cream they got a bar and they got a pint don't don't ever say i ain't never tell you nothing try that ice cream Ooh. Oh, what's one destination you wish your airline would add to the route? Y'all, I wish we had West Coast flying. Bring the West Coast flying on. We probably won't ever get West Coast flying, but a girl could only dream, right? <laughs> Has a passenger ever asked you for your number? Yes. Passengers have asked for my number. Passengers have given me their number. Passengers with a ring on their ring finger has asked for my number. Like, you ain't got no shame like you got a whole family like what you... like you don't see that i see you got a ring on your finger what type of woman you take me for like i don't want you but yes to answer your question yes yes lots of passengers have no shame in their game like none what's one item you would turn around for my phone i will turn around for my phone uh <laughs> My phone has my credit cards, my debit cards. I could record off my phone. Like it has important information. It has my social media. Like I'm turning back from my phone. I could always buy like a cheap charger on the road. I've left my wallet home before, but like I said, I have everything on my Apple Pay. So my phone, I've left my camera at home before. And guess what? I use my phone to record. I've left my computer at home before. And guess what? I just edited when I got home. So my phone, my phone got everything. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always turn back to my phone, especially on a layover. But meal prep or buying food on the road? Meal prep. It takes a lot of my energy and a lot of time away from me. But them airport prices, they add up, okay? And even if you're not buying at the airport, if you're buying on the road, it adds up. Especially if you got to buy lunch and dinner. <laughs> I get hangry so if I don't have food like on demand or something to snack on or drink to hold me over until the next destination or location I got a whole little sour attitude like so I always try to you know meal prep I meal prep 95% of the time do you prefer one bedded hotel rooms or two bedded hotel rooms one I think I've told you guys this before I feel as though that one bed the sheets are gonna get changed uh, more than having two beds because every time i'm not gonna say every time most times when i have two beds in my hotel room it's always an issue with the second bed like the second bed always got crumbs stains like sometimes flight attendants put their bags on the second bag that's like a little pet peeve of mine i just don't like to see the bags that's been on the floor on the bed like 
you better use that little luggage rack like uh and sometimes flight attendants lay on the second bed or you know they sit on top of it and like to you know the naked eye it looks as though oh no one uses bed so i don't have to make it but if i have two beds in my room i'm gonna mess up the second bed i just feel like the, the sheets need to be changed like i just prefer one bed hotel rooms i'll eat at the desk like <laughs> and our last question modern or vintage hotel rooms modern each and every time i like the hardwood floors i like the sleek aesthetics i like the led lighting i like the nice natural lighting i i don't like that dirty grimy carpet the wet walls the old bed frames the dust pile up like when i come across like a nice modern looking hotel it's just easy to lay your head out at night especially because it's not home but because it looks so nice you know you feel comfortable laying down like you know i still do my bed checks everywhere i go it could be a five-star hotel or it could be wherever i'm still gonna do my bed checks like you check each and every little cranny but um i love me a nice aesthetically pleasing easy on the eyes hotel room and if they got hardwood floors that's just a plus for me like i just love hardwood floors but, wow i enjoyed this cute little flight attendant tag video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are new here be sure to subscribe before leaving and to my og subscribers i thank you thank you thank you for waiting you know during my little absence i do appreciate you all be on the lookout for a flight attendant vlog um to be coming in the near future like i said i'm still trying to like get into a routine you know so once I get into my routine and once I head back to work, it'll be easier for you guys to, you know, expect a vlog, you know. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, bye.